garlic bread with chicken and shrimp. Mm. I ate that little one. Y'all, it's buzzing. It's really good. Oh, we hit the plan and it's cut from the jealous. We need a bag and we might get a tear. Hi you guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another cooking with Re. Um today on today's episode we're about to be making like a garlic Alfredo. Why am I what am I talking about? Alfredo garlic bread. So like this is the Hold on, like the inspo picture right here. So I got this little copycat video off TikTok, so you know, we gotta get right into it, because I mean, it ain't nothing else to be said, because I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. So I got my chicken in my, I'm adding shrimp on it too. So I ain't gonna put too much shrimp on it, but I'm gonna add a little, a little shrimp on it. So we're gonna do chicken, shrimp, and then this is the bread that we're gonna do. I'm gonna like slice this in half and use the top and the bottom. Yeah. I think it's gonna be really good. I think it's gonna be really good. So, without further ado, ado, let's get right into it. I got um, the spices and the cheeses over here. Let it focus. So today we're gonna be using garlic powder, onion powder. You already know this is the seasoning for the chicken. Paprika, garlic and herb. Am I using that for the chicken? I think so. Black pepper, salt. That's for the chicken. And then on the bread, we're doing parsley and butter. And then on the sauce that you're dipping in, it's like an Alfredo sauce, this is what the Cajun is for, the Parmesan cheese, all these seasons are going there as well. And then this goes on top of the bread. Like, you know, you gotta have mozzarella cheese for your bread, so. Yeah, y'all. We're just gonna get right into this video. I got my olive oil up here so I can coat my chicken and season it. I'm gonna do the shrimp last because I don't think I need that many. I just want a little bit on there. So I'm gonna put the rest of it back in the freezer. Because we can use that for something else. So yeah, let's go ahead and season this chicken and do it. And I already washed and dried my chicken off camera so it is ready. So let's lay this on this cooking board and start seasoning. I done made six half for the whole week. Plug wanna play, then I'm going no tea. I done made four, five, seven on what? I hop in that scat and I'm better your block. Nigga want scrap, well let it go rock. My little nigga got it, I bet he go pop. I can make ten no face, no feeling six got like killing on smoking gorilla. Cover my niggas, just caught that nigga that was running off dog. I know they gon' kill him. Smoking off killer and taking your bitch on the trip and them fuck on the floor my villa. I ain't got time for two things. What? These stupid ass holding their feelings. Hey, all in the pit in my bitches just call it, they get it. They know they just falling off thinny. Chocolate vanilla can't hide so I'm hot at the dinner. I got the new car, not tinny. Won't lie, little bitch had a nigga down. But now they don't out of my feelings. I'ma stand the money so tall in the crib. It be looking like the roof came out of my ceiling. Soon as I hop in, I zoom. Scooping that beer like a spoon. I got this effort to sit like that bitch is in tune. Look at it fade when we walked in the room. Ayy, 35 Mac 10s. Ayy, I kill me playing my back end. Fucking that show and I'm making her back bend after my niggas walk. Making sure that season is in there really good before we start cooking. So it kind of looks like this. Is that focused? Y'all get the juice. Y'all see it. Okay. Okay. Wash my hands. Okay, I got my stove on four for like medium low heat. Like oh. I'm so clumsy, it make no sense. We gonna coat the bottom with vegetable oil so the chicken don't stick. Y'all already know what it is and what it ain't. Period I, period U. Boom, bam. We gonna move this out the way. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of chicken. 
Okay, let's go ahead. I don't think it's heated up all the way, but maybe it'll be just, we just gonna do three at a time since we got three and three. But yeah, um, I want y'all to tell me, like, give me recipes that you make or recipes you would like to see me make because I'm on my journey of learning to cook different things. Hold up. I want to like cook different things because I want to be that, that mama that cook everything. I want to be that family member that makes family dinner, you know, stuff like that. I look forward to stuff like that. So I'm going to need y'all to, you know, help the girl out in the kitchen, like, you know, constructive criticism, give me ideas and plates to do. I just ordered, um, we ordered up some uh, plates and stuff, so that'll be here this weekend and then we're going to get pots and pans and all that good stuff. So I'm about to be in here cooking. I said I was going to give me a little apron to cook it as well because like, I'm not playing okay I'm serious about doing this kitchen I mean that with everything in me so I'm gonna need y'all to help your girl out help me out give me some stuff to cook somebody has said like dessert I wouldn't mind doing dessert I wouldn't mind doing like breakfast but it's just me and my man here so I can't be like a full course meal unless I'm cooking for more than one more than just me and my man so yeah y'all gotta give me some recommendations because but I love watching cooking videos. Do you like watching cooking videos? Because I love watching somebody cook. Like I've been watching this girl. That's where I'm getting all these recipes from. This girl on TikTok. She been putting your girl on. You know what I mean? Putting her on. And then we just came back from the grocery store. So I'm making this today. And then I'm doing salmon, uh, homemade mashed potatoes, and green beans. Another this week. So I'm going to make that a video. I'm going to do like a honey glazed salmon. And I think it's going to be yeah. So I was just trying to chicken looking like. It's cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah. I think it's gonna be good. So I ain't gonna be doing too much yakking because I want the video to be long. Y'all here to see what I'm cooking and how I'm making. So when we get to the next step of the shrimp and the bread, I'm gonna put that up the camera and cook. Okay, y'all. So while I was letting the chicken get done, I put some butter in here and I'm about to add a little bit of garlic and herb and parsley to go on the bottom, to go on the base of the bread before I, I don't know why I can't talk, but it's about to piss me off. So, like I was saying, smash up some butter, looks like that. And put a little bit of this in there. Just a little. Boom. And a little bit of part. And it's gonna go on the on our bread. So it's garlic bread, baby. Garlic bread, baby. And I'm gonna just mash it up together so it looks all good. Put a little down. And it's gonna be spread across our bread. But I think our chicken is quite done. So I mean, I've been burning my friends. I don't even care. I gotta make sure that chicken is done. I think it's good. Okay. Let me show y'all what the chicken looks like. Chicken. Yum, yum. And we're gonna cut that up and put it on the bread. So we're gonna see that to the side. Actually, we're gonna put it in the microwave. <laughs> But I think when I say I'd be all over the place, I'd be all over the place. I really do. Oh. Alright, so that's inside here. Boom, bam. We're about to do the shrimp, so. Take a little bit of butter. Little bit of butter. Oh, talkies. Get that buttermilk in there. And I got a bunch of shrimp. I ain't gonna make all these. I'm gonna make half. Cause we got a lot of chicken. That's really what it's supposed for the chicken, but I want to add a little twist to it, put my own little twist on it, so yeah. But the seasoning I'm using for the shrimp are, you know, of course, I ain't had a lot of pepper. I'm gonna put a little old bay on there. Maybe for a little Cajun, just a little bit. Cause it's gonna be Cajun seasoning in the Alfredo sauce. Yeah, 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 a little butter. Cause butter make it taste better. Butter make it taste. 
If you know, you know. <laughs> Y'all know we love for the cut. But I make it better. I make it better. Real OG over here. I don't know if y'all know about it. But if you do, let me know. Let me know if you know about that butter maker taste good. For my girl, Eric D. Okay, let's do half of these. And usually I would season it before I put them in here, but maybe this ain't the start of the show today. It's all about that chicken. But I still want me. I'm gonna put the shrimp on there. Yeah, but I can't really use all of them. Let's see. Bring y'all in a little closer. Okay. So simmering in that butter. And I'm gonna go in with some garlic. We love garlic. Boom down. A bit of onion. That's good. Some old bay. Cause I love old bay on my seafood. Like real bad. I hate that. That's it. Don't even play with it. And we're gonna throw a little bit of cake. I think that's it. So I'm gonna spin it around in there. Sound low, but cook it up. I need it to cook. And I just like that. You're gonna keep stirring it around so they get. When they start shriveling up, that's when you know they done. And I need to also get a plate to put these. And then we're gonna make the sauce. And I'll preheat my oven. I don't even know what my oven's supposed to be on. I'm probably just gonna do 350. Okay, shrimp is done. Period. I don't Period. I found the actual girl on TikTok where she got the recipe from, so. I found out how much, how long I need to put the bread in the oven. So, you know, we locked and loaded right now. Got my shrimp on, sit there to the side. Now I'm about to make the Alfredo sauce. So, come on up over here with your girl. So, basically, if you made Alfredo before, you add butter about that much. I'm not going to make a lot because it's just dipping. All we're doing is dipping. I might just use the rest of what's in here. I got two. Um, and then we're gonna season it with Cajun. Let me double check. Okay. Season is right here. So we're gonna add the whipping cream. And I feel like that's good. Honestly, that's good right there. Cause we don't need that much. Um and I might add a little, nah, we need a little bit more. There we go. And I got my oven preheating. Guys, crunch time. Like, when you get the move fast, stuff start getting done, <laughs> you gotta move real quick. Put just a little bit more in there. Spin up the bottom. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit, get the little stir. So we're gonna do pepper. We're gonna do garlic. Really, I can just do garlic and herb because it's got garlic in it. That's good. We're gonna do salt. We're gonna do Cajun. We're gonna do parmesan and a little bit of sour cream. I'm gonna make sure my sour cream is good. I've been making a fried a little minute now. I should be good. I'll make it. <laughs> we still be tweaking it a little bit, but hey. Get some cream cheese out of there. But it's just like cream cheese is definitely taking to another level. I think my cream cheese is out with you guys. It's got to go. I'm going to use this corner and I'm going to throw this shit away. The rest is going to be trash. 
We're gonna need more of that. On the next go around, usually when I be running out of stuff and I need stuff, I make a new list. So, the next go around, we're gonna need cream cheese. Cause I mix a lot of pasta. I mix Alfredo all the time. So mash that up in there. Mash it, mash it. Mash it. You get the gist of it, so it can melt up in there real good. See what I mean? Just mash it in there so it can go on down. Hmm. Put a little bit more cheese in there. That's my water trying to take this thing. We're gonna sit this bad boy to the side. Pull it. It's looking like this right now. Oh. The ghetto, honey. That was so ghetto. Let me lock this. Cause this gonna go on top of the bread and as a dipping sauce. So I feel like this is a good amount. Period I, period uh. Okay, y'all, I'll come back. We about to do the bread. Cause I'm gonna let this stir and get good. And I will be right back. Let me waste some stuff, good God. Okay, that is done. So now we got to cut the bread in half. Spread the butter on it, put mozzarella cheese on it, some of this alfredo sauce, top it with the chicken and the shrimp, top it with some more alfredo sauce, and stick her in the oven. Well, there we go. Can y'all see? Put the boys in the oven. And it'll be just like this. Put this bread thick. Get yeah, those with ease. Yes, we're doing this ghetto fabulous. Don't say nothing to So, we're going to put a little bit of. I have to use my wrist to make sure y'all was, you know, making it in there a little bit. I'm to give me a little spoon. So, we're going to put some of this little bit. So, I'm going to put a little bit on all of them. Real good. Then, we're going to do cheese, mozzarella cheese. Baby, I like cheese. So. Yo, y'all already know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put some on the top. Okay, so I did forget that we have to cut the chicken up, so let's do that quickly. And it's gonna be like not small pieces, but you know, good size pieces. Back on the peak, got a business cut off. Don't know how to suck dick at the smack of hip. Watch the teeth. I be giving the bully girls the hoes. They see me, they get the pass, and I was screaming out. I don't really fuck with police. I don't know shit. Be in my speech. I don't really fuck with rap niggas. They bitch. I don't really chill with my daughter, my niece. Acting like you love me. I don't need no new daughter. I don't want to bite, nigga. Keep let it trust me. I'm gonna have to show you something. I'm gonna have your family talking to the preach. I'm not affiliated with no game, but my rolling face do look like it's out the freeze. I'm making niggas bitches say my name. She ain't know how to fuss a baby had to teach. Oops, I ain't mean. I put it on her face and gave her all white times so she can clean. I'm baby Jesus. Sometimes I wear it once and give it away. Sometimes I hit the queen. Okay, 
Alright, I ain't gonna upload. Just hold these to the side for just a second. So, looking like this, and then we're gonna add some shrimp on it. A little more cheese, too. Okay. Looking good, y'all. Looking good. Okay. So we're gonna put it. And we gonna have nothing to dip in. I'm just gonna do the drizzles, because that's what she said. Drizzle. I should have made more guys. But it's okay. I'm have a little bit to dip in. Top it with some cheese and a little bit of parsley. And we're gonna bake it. See what the rest of this is gonna It ain't even gonna dip in. Okay. Top it with cheese and parsley. You good? Yeah. I'm like, I like cheese. Mess around, make some more on braid sauce. Maybe. No parts, just stick away. So, let's put her in the oven. Did that quick battery change? Don't play with your girl. Okay, let's put this in the oven. Why is it not? Okay. And I can't wait to get my oven beans, y'all. Oh, I can't wait. So basically the next vlog I'm gonna be showing y'all showing y'all us in our place together because we argue pots, pans, all that good stuff. All that stuff we need, we are getting chicken Hey. And we're gonna put this in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna check on this. So that's in there in the meantime I'm about to clean up my nasty kitchen because I got stuff literally everywhere. So I'll be right. Be right back. Cause yeah, honey. Play with anybody but me when it comes to cleaning up my kitchen. Do you hear me? It don't even look like I cleaned. Clean. <laughs> Trying to talk mess. I don't even look like I cooked in this kitchen. Yeah, oh, we're gonna do that like no more about that. But the food is in here cooking. It's almost done. Don't worry about that. You see, you, you, too, don't, you too nosy. But the stove, I didn't even really clean it all the way. I just cleaned it a little bit. We got four more minutes on our food. The counters. Yeah. Because what they going to say? I even swept the floor. Yeah, what they going to say? What they going to say about Lori Reed? She cooked and she cleaned. Yeah. It ain't that up. No, just, let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, we got four more minutes on this bread. I honestly can't wait to see what it comes out. Looking like I'm excited. I'm tired. My feet hurt. I didn't went to work. I didn't went to the gym. I didn't cook. I didn't clean. Sister girl about to get up in the bed. And I'm about to edit though. I'm talking out of mess, but I'm about to edit. I keep wasting stuff on my new shirt that I just got from Florida. And it's got bleach in this water. I really hope it don't mess my shirt up because I'm going to be pissed i'm being mad but i see y'all in three minutes please let's see what this food's talking about real talk let's see what this food's talking about okay y'all so then i said let's take it out the oven I'm about to warm up this alfredo sauce really quickly just a little dipping sauce i heard you move i heard you move i said i heard you move Yeah, why the bus 
really good. Okay, y'all, look like a little taste test. Let's get a good piece. I think I want this. I'm going to cut them anyway. Like, try to section them off. Okay. That's what it looks like. Garlic bread with chicken and shrimp. So let's taste what it like. I don't even wait no more. Cause, mm. Okay. I put a little sauce on there. We don't even need the dipping sauce. Not very demure of me, but it was not very mindful of me. So, y'all, it's buzzing. It's really good. I ate that little one. Shout out to TikTok. If you in the kitchen and you trying to learn how to cook, get your butt on TikTok, baby. They is putting the girlies on. They're right there, fire. Fire, but my man is asleep, so I'm about to go in here and try to wake him up and see if he's hungry or not. I will be eating by myself, so. It's all good. But yeah, that's fine. But if you have made this far in my video, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for trusting the process and coming along the journey with me. I love doing this. I love making cooking videos with y'all because it's so fun. Like coming, even if I do, even if it's nasty, like you know, you let me learn. Like, don't be afraid to, you know, being seen trying. And that is the number one thing. Being afraid to be seen trying is what messes up most of this generation. Like y'all be afraid that people gonna people have opinions regardless. So get in that kitchen and get in that kitchen and mess up. Cause I done need it plenty of times. Get in that kitchen and up. Cause it's gonna happen. You're not gonna be perfect when you get in that kitchen. Nobody is perfect. Everybody lives and they learn. And that's how you, you make recipes, you repeat those recipes and that's how you learn how to cook. And that's what I am doing. I'm just a girl in her twenties trying to figure out how to cook. You feel me? Because who's gonna be eating out every day? Hey, we went to the grocery store today and spent $140 and we have meals for two weeks. Simple as that. <laughs> so if you ain't trying to hop on that wave and hop on that train, goodbye. That's your fault. But I ain't trying to be one of them girls who can't cook for her man because... Excuse me. I'ma get that. I'ma get that. Yeah. Period. But yeah, you made this part of my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit like and subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can catch every video that drops and be notified when it does. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to move because for don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to move because this is where we end. And I'll see you at the next cooking with Ren. Bye.